Hello, welcome back. Hola, hola, amigos. Welcome to Cristalita's Corner. I've got a new little corner for you, and we've got a new book to read. I had a mama reach out to me saying, I love Hands Are Not For Hitting, one of the videos that I made in English and in Spanish, and she said, can you please read Teeth Are Not For Biting? Now, I couldn't find it in Spanish, and it took me a little bit to find this one, um, but if I do find it in Spanish, Lo voy a hacer y lo, puedo, y lo puedo hacer en español también, but for now, we've got it in English, okay? But before we read our book, what do we have to do? Who remembers? Who remembers? Oh, yes, we've got to sing our song. So let's calm our body down. Maybe let's take a breath because I'm a little bit excited. It's been a while since I recorded and I myself am excited. My heart is beating so fast. So let's relax. Too good. Let's do it again. Okay, I feel calmer and I'm ready to sing my song. Ready? Take out your wiggly hands. Ojos mirando, oídos escuchando, bocas calladas, cuerpos quietos. Así es como escuchamos, así es como escuchamos en hora de cuento, en hora de cuento. I did it in Spanish. You want to do it in English really fast? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Take out your hands. <gasps> Eyes are watching. Ears are listening. Voices quiet. Bodies calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen. At story time. At story time. Now give yourself a big squeeze. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Hands on our laps. Not mine though, because I needed to read. <laughs> Here we go. Teeth are not for biting. And this is by Elizabeth Verdick. She does some amazing books. Okay, here we go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Teeth are strong and sharp. Look, what are they doing? I think this is meal time. I see some apple slices. Everyone's sitting at the table calmly. I think it might be breakfast or maybe it's lunch time. And crunch, crunch, crunch. What's that noise from? Hmm. I think someone's chewing. See? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Teeth can help you chew. They're chewing their food. Who else is chewing? <gasps> The puppy's chewing a bone. My dogs like to be under the table when I'm eating too. It's silly, but they're part of the family. So everyone's chewing. Everyone's having a good time at their breakfast table. But teeth are not for biting. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I see something happening here. Something is happening. What happened? <gasps> I think he might have. Ooh! Bit a friend? Teeth are not for biting. Ouch, biting hurts. The little girl said biting hurts and they looked like they were outside in the playground. And he bit her arm. Is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I'm gonna go with thumbs down. Ah, I see tears, I don't think that's a good thing. Let's see. How many teeth do you have? Hmm. You can count them now. Someday you will have Ooh, how many teeth do you have? Maybe let's take a moment and count. I think I have more than 20 because I'm a grown up, but yeah, I think I have more than 20. But you count your teeth, okay? That's something we can do with our teeth. We can count them. Wow, that's a lot. Look, this little boy counted his teeth in the mirror with his dad and realized I have a lot of teeth. You can do that too when you're in the mirror. That's something you can do with your teeth. You can count them. When new teeth come in, your mouth may be sore. When new teeth come in, when you may want to bite. But teeth are not for biting. Ouch! <laughs> biting hurts. Yeah, look. See, I bet you he has new teeth coming in. And that's why he keeps wanting to <laughs> bite something. But teeth are not for biting. What are teeth for? Find out. Let's do this instead. Chew a chewy toy. Ooh. You can drink a cold drink. 
That's a good idea. Maybe some water or some cold milk. Take a little rest. Mm, that's a good idea. <gasps> you can get a hug. I love hugs. Oh my God, you can absolutely get a hug from a friend if you want one. But you have to ask, remember, always ask. Mmm, that feels better. Ask for a hug. That's a good, so that was a thumbs up, right? Yeah, absolutely. When you feel mad or sad or cranky, you may want to fight. He's feeling a little cranky, okay? Give him some space. He's got a little teeth coming in. I see, I see the little tooth coming in. He might be upset. But do you think with that little tooth that he should bite because he's feeling upset? Yeah, I don't think it's good to bite. Ouch, biting hurts. But teeth are not for biting. See, I just said it. Biting hurts. Ouch. Mm -mm. I don't even want to, I don't even want to show you because it's going to hurt me. I don't want to hurt myself by biting myself. So no, teeth are not for biting. Let's do this instead. Use your words. <gasps> Who has amazing words? And sometimes we don't have words that come out of our mouths, but we can use our hands to talk too. So you can use words, whether it's with your mouth or with your hands. Tell a grown up. You can tell a grown up how you're feeling. Take a little break. Whew, that's a great choice. Whenever you're feeling like, Ah, it's too loud in here. It's overwhelming. Just take a breathing break. Or you can get a hug. That's my favorite solution because I love abrazos. Mmm, that feels better. Look, he asked for a hug. He took a little rest. Those were good choices. Thumbs up choices. What if someone bites you? Ooh, ouch. Ouch, someone bit you. Do you bite back if someone bites you? No, biting hurts. You don't bite back. You can ask a grown up for help. Maybe there's a grown up where you are, a mommy or a daddy, an auntie, a grandma, a tia, a tio, whatever it may be. You say, help please, ajuda por favor. We do not bite back. Oh, that hurts, it hurts. Teeth are not for biting. Look at those amazing, beautiful teeth that are not for biting. Teeth are for smiling. Say cheese. Okay, everyone say cheese. I want to see cheese. You can close your eyes or you can open them. <laughs> you can be so silly with a nice smile. Aww, en colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. So just like the other books, Elizabeth Verdict, she's got lots of ideas for parents and caregivers on how to stop kids from biting. So I highly recommend you not only purchase this book, but read it beforehand as a parent for your little ones so you know how to read it to them, make it very interactive. And um, yeah, this is really cute. All right, so thank you so much for coming to Cristina. For biting? No, Cristalita, teeth are not for biting. Teeth are for saying words, for smiling, for counting, and count your teeth. And if someone bites you, do you bite back? Mm -mm, mm -mm. You keep your hands to yourself and you tell a grown up. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. Adios.